so what is going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to create this type of question mark animation uh you see in 24 k john and uh, this is a, a tutorial most of you have been asking me to do i know some of you guys know how to do this but uh with this i'm going to show you an easier way to do this and before we continue with this tutorial you actually need to install the trap code uh, plugin from red giant and you also have to get a png image of a question mark so this is my png so all i have to do is just drag it into my comp and make sure you pre-compose this go into the pre-comp and change the composition settings 500 by 500 and hit on ok and just resize the png and now let's go into the main comp here and we have it here just turn it off let's rename this to uh, mac and turn it off now create a new solid and we'll call it a uh, trap code so with this add your trap code to to this so trap code so now this is trap code particular and if if it's your first time you are going to see this interface or this settings here don't be scared go to the emitter here and just change it from point to box so now you can see some particles here and for the emitter behavior if you choose continuous explode all these are like automatic uh, animation that the plugin will give you but we don't want that we want to animate it ourselves so we just change it from uh, continuous to classic form so you can see classic form is best suited for working with fills and emitters that animate over time so meaning you are you are the one going to create your own animation with this and uh, trap code is not going to do that for you so in case i just move my my cti you can see nothing's moving but if i change it to continuous and i try moving it you can see the particles are moving meaning they're going to create the animation for you and we don't want that we want it we want to create it our own selves so just select on classic form and now go to particles here and change it from sphere to sprites and now you have to choose our sprite and if you click on choose sprite so these are some of the uh, sprites uh, preset uh trap code has there are so many of them and you can actually go through and choose anyone you want but this we want the question mark and initially this is what i have i've imported my question mark but if you don't have it no problem but you can also use some of this for your edit there are so many of them you can just go through so you just go to sprite controls and just go to uh, the option here the layer and just choose our question mark and just leave it so you are going to see them so if i zoom you can see we have our question mark and now let's dive into the settings now go to size and increase the size let's go for something like 56 okay let's go for 60 and now go to emitter size and change it from length to individuals so you can have control over the values for x y and z so now go to the size for x and let's push it and now go to for y and now let's bring the y to something like this and now let's go down to global controls and go to world transform and go to rendering and make sure you bring the particle amount down just a bit and now all you have to do now is just let's start creating animation so go to your web transform and go to offset for y and send it to the top so let's send this to the top and create an animation for the y offset or the world offset y create an animation so create a keyframe now hit you so bring your keyframes and uh, send it to the beginning and let's go like 40 frames or 50 frames and now reset this and now just highlight your keyframes easy ease and go to your graph and mix a graph like this and just apply this
so now all we have to do now we just go to the effect control now let's go to our particles hit uh create a keyframe and bring the particles down like this so, so let's go for something like 10 and hit you to reveal your keyframes and just at the end of this keyframes then we're just going to increase it so let's go for this and highlight your keyframes is ease so anytime you see your particles are too much you can just go to to the particle amount and you can bring it down so basically this is how to use uh, the trap code to create this type of uh, question mark animation and this is very easy to do so always make sure you change it from point to box always make sure if you want to have control by the animation you always change it to the classic form and you just play with the sprite so with the sprite you can also choose any other uh, sprite you desire but you can uh, this is just a question mark so you can use any five any png uh, image or anything you can use it to create create this type of animation so this is the basics of how to do it they are more in-depth on how to use the trap code but this is just the basics so guys this is very easy to do i'm going to save this project file uh, from after effects 2020 20, and above so any one of you any one of you can download this project and just go through it but make sure you have the red giant uh, trap code installed and all you have to do is just pre-compose this add your bevel and bell alpha and add your drop shadow your deep glue and you're done so basically this is how to create this type of uh question mark animation so guys thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in my next tutorial peace